Thank you for joining us. I'm Paige Arena from LaGuardia Media Studies News, and here's my review of Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah! Once again, Marvel has done it. Marvel Disney has succeeded in taking D-list characters and have made the best movie this summer, while reaping in millions of dollars and leaving all other studios scrambling to replicate its success. What is most surprising about Guardians is how Marvel confidently gambled to tell a story not many comic book fans know. Goes to show that audience still crave new stories instead of the same old rehashed superhero tales. I'm looking at you, Spider-Man and Man of Steel. Cleverly directed by low-budget filmmaker James Gunn, he gets a superhero-sized budget and does not let it engulf him. His signature style and wit are still intact and shows why he was the right man for the job. The cast is pitch perfect, masterfully held together by a breakthrough performance by Chris Pratt from Parks and Recreation. There's one other name you might know me by. Star-Lord. Who? Well, Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. Guys? Pratt holds everything together with humor, heart, and brawn. He's the new Han Solo. Zoe Saldana is feisty and dangerous. WWE wrestler David Bautista nearly steals the movie as super literal, revenge-filled Drax the Destroyer. Bradley Cooper and Vin Diesel provide the voice for Rocket, our genetically enhanced machine gun toting raccoon, and Groot, a walking, talking, regenerating tree that says only three words. I am Groot. With excellent CG, a fantastic cast, and zany sense of humor, Marvel Disney has made one of their best standalone features and are coming off an amazing year after the pulse-pounding Captain America Winter Soldier. Fans will be eagerly awaiting the next installment of this generation's Star Wars. Speaking of Star Wars, it's hard not to notice the major influence the original Star Wars has on Guardians. Kooky characters and amazing, awesome aerial dogfights. Another movie that is highly reminiscent of Guardians of the Galaxy is Marvel mastermind Joss Whedon's 2005 TV-to-film space western Serenity, which also had a cast of multidimensional, lovable rogues, and Luke Besson's 1997 goofy masterpiece, The Fifth Element with its irreverent and broad and weird humor. Both Serenity and The Fifth Element are available on Netflix streaming and Guardians of the Galaxy is still in the theaters. Thank you for watching LaGuardia Media Studies News. I'm Paige Arena and I will see you soon.